Hey guys, Beachhead here. I was doing a little bit of math today and I decided I would share my results with you. Um, so I came up with a, a formula for the mandrel that uh, allows you to not be dependent on measuring your diameter with these, or with these uh, ring sizers because I found that no matter how hard I tried it was never really accurate to, to use this and measure the diameter mainly because of my eyes but also because these ring sizers aren't perfect so I have found though uh, I spent some time doing some math and graphing etc making data tables and stuff and um, this is obviously a straight line with a set um, slope so I figured I would find the y equals mx plus b equation of the mandrel and so I did just that Okay, so you can see here I graphed this. Um, I started with just kind of like measuring each one of these and then graphing it and stuff like that, but I found that there was a pattern which makes sense because ring makers obviously don't want to be random in their work. So as I was making the data table here, I uh, found the pattern to be pretty much it goes up in radius about 0.025. Um, so you can see my work up here with finding the equation. Um, so I found the slope, basic, this is easy, like easy peasy, algebra 1, geometry, stuff like that. Uh, but right here is your equation. y equals 0 0.05, which is the slope, x, which is going to be your size, plus 0.55. And that will give you the radius. So if you want the diameter, obviously you're just going to multiply the radius by 2. And so this is awesome because no longer do I have to rely on these. These will be nice still if I take them, you know, to events and stuff like that to have people size their finger and give me an estimate. But no longer will I have to take my little measuring tape and squint and stuff like that and like, yeah, I think I got it. Nope. All I have to do is plug in a size here, say 9 plug in 9, do all this stuff, you're going to get a radius of 1 and a diameter of 2. So I thought I would share that with you guys. There's uh, a little bit of the data table again. Because I think I'm going to find this extremely helpful. And yes, so thanks for watching. This is Beachhead, a mathematical Beachhead. Yeah.